So guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by these guys, Fanatics.com. The world's largest collection of official sports apparel from all of the leagues, teams and players that you love. Their multiple online sports stores feature jerseys, t-shirts, hats and much more from the NFL, NCAA, MLB, NBA, NHL, NASCAR and there's even a little bit of soccer. Now Fanatics is, is more than just the business name. It's who we are, right? You're a fan. I'm a fan. In fact, I'd call myself a fanatic, a sports fanatic. That's why I've partnered with fanatics.com. Head down into the description box below, click the link, check the website out. They've always got incredible promotions from 10, 50, even up to 70, 80, even 90% off. So guys, thank you for watching, support the channel, and enjoy the video. Hey, hey, what's up you guys? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and today, as mentioned in the previous video, we are in officially the top 1% of the league. It's the top 20, well, the top 20s, with number 29, Julio Jones. Julio Jones, originally known as Julio Jones to me, um, is a wide receiver who has been traded from the Falcons, who he's played for, for I'm going to say about 10 years, uh, to the Titans in the offseason. So it'll be interesting, if nothing else, to see him line up in a different uniform on the same team as a guy by the name of Derek Henry. So so all of that and more will be revealed. We'll look at his stats. We'll have a look at his story. We'll have a look at a, a new story or two around around the trade and, and why and how that happened. If we can hear Julio talk for once on this video, that'd be great. So I'm going to roll the intro and let's crack into it. Right then, before I look up his stats myself, let's just have a wee listen. Because I've had a bit of a habit of, you know, jumping forwards and checking things myself to then be told the exact things that I've just looked up by the narrator. So for now, let's just watch. Do you pay attention when a guy like Julio's on the field? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Julio just because Julio, you know what I'm saying? Whenever we play, I'm always watching. First down play fake. Ryan will shoot it down the field for Jones. Bit of a Julio wobbly one. Catching right to work to Julio Jones. The second time he played, then he had like... Basically, he is a 100-yard cheat code. Like 80 yards the first drive of the game. Ryan to throw again, Julio Jones. But guys, number 11 is going to beat you. You have to guard him. You know, he definitely Hall of Famer. Man. Jones is killing Carolina. Julio deserved that respect. I mean, in our era, Julio Jones has always been the number one receiver. You know, I'll kind of look at his longevity. Down the field, it's caught Jones! As far as, like, in the 10-year stint, and the ability to do everything, can break tackles. Julio, 10, 5, touchdown and... Oh, decent strength with the handoff. Atlanta, amazing! After 10 years in Atlanta, Julio Jones will take his talents to Tennessee in 2021. I've been a Julio fan for a while, like... Because he, he's one of those, like, physical specimens, right? Dan, you better have your <laughs> strapped up with Julio. He's like a runaway train, right? So he starts running, and, like, everybody, like, you, he's so fast, you got to turn him and haul ass, right? You got to haul tail. And so, like, most guys can't stop when he stops, and so he's just wide open. You know, with Julio, it's not just about your ability to run fast. He right. Okay, that makes sense. So for any defender to want to actually have the ability to keep up with Jones at any time on the field, they're going to have to be running near on their full speed, which means that when Jones wants to stop on a dime, it's going to require a fair bit of agility, possibly a little bit of luck, or else Julio is going to be wide open. And I think that's what we just saw there. You run fast, it's how fast you can stop. Ooh. Julio threatens you so much. As a DB, you've got to open your hips, and you can't get beat over the top. So he sticks that foot in the ground, hits... Damn, I tell you what, he does have some speed off the mark. Breaks. I mean, he's wide open 100% of the time. Especially with Julio, I say there's no excuse for me not to be able to come out of breaks at like 20-yard route depths because he's coming out of 18, 20-yard comebacks like it's nothing, like he's like a slot receiver. Watch this route. 
Matt Ryan knows what Jeez, he goes he goes a fair way down the field, doesn't he? But I'm thinking these cornerbacks, surely if they were to, you know, to, to line up in front of him, they'd probably have at least a better chance of shutting down the move. But actually, how far back from the line of scrimmage does he line up? Our route depths. Because No, he's he's right on the line. Well, I suppose first of all they're looking for the run. They've got one tight end and one receiver to the left. It's either option one, two or three, really, isn't it? He's coming out of 18, 20 yard comebacks like it's nothing, like he's like a slot receiver. Watch this route. Matt Ryan knows what he And they go with option three. Scott out there one on one. Once he got him turned, there was no way he was gonna be able to come back and make a play on that ball. That's actually Literally broke his ankles. Look at this. There was no How are you going to defend that, man? How are you going to defend that? Play on that ball. That's excellent work. It's full speed. Um, it's great. Full speed, all right. And actually, that reminds me. As far as his attitude, as far as the way he plays, it is full speed 100% of the time. Stride. And you hear about it. And snapping out of each and every cup. Everything is violent. Everything's precise. It's like to a T. I mean, he runs a post corner and he leaves. Now... You would have watched that thinking he did that in absolute silence, but that's not true. He might not have said any actual words, but I tell you what, each and every one of those steps, he would have been ha, 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 ha. And uh, he's basically the Maria Sharapova of the NFL, and don't at me about it. He's the, the corner in the dust. Sells the post, gets the corner of the turn, and then takes some back lines. to the back corner of the end zone. And ha, ha, ha. Guy like that, guys who pay attention to detail like that. Good job, Rob. Well done. He's definitely one of the uh, one of the guys that's the top. Right, so we got a fist bump, but we didn't actually get some words from the man. So with that in mind, not only will we look up his stats, give him the time of day, but we'll also look up an interview because I ain't stopping this video because I'm not I'm not shutting this video off until we hear that man speak. All right, so let's go. Quintoris Lopez, Julio Jones. Is an American football wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Played college football at Alabama. And in 2009, helped lead the Crimson Tide to an undefeated 14-0 season. He was drafted 6th overall by the Atlanta Falcons in their 2011 NFL Draft. And that is quite high. And let's be honest, guys, that's pretty high for a wide receiver to be drafted. He has a rare combination of size at 6 foot 3 and 220 pounds, running a 40-yard dash in under 4.4 seconds. Jeepers creepers. All right, I'm gonna read you some stats. Basically, this paragraph covers his final two years with the Falcons and his trade in the offseason to the Titans. So on November 11th, 2018, he became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 10,000 career receiving yards. On September 15th, 2019, he became the all-time career receiving yards leader for the Falcons. On October 5th, 2020, he became the all-time career receptions leader for the Falcons. And his career average of 96.1 receiving yards per game, almost 100 yards, is the highest in NFL history. In 2021, he was traded to the Titans after reported disgruntlement with Atlanta's new front office. And I reckon we'll just leave it there. He's a seven-time Pro Bowler, excluding 2013 and 2020. He made the NFL 2010's all-decade team. As we heard, has an NFL record 96 average receiving yards per game, which is ridiculous. He's got a career high of 1,871 receiving yards. He's got over 1,500 receiving yards three times in his career. He's got over 1,400 receiving yards five times in his career. And he's got over 1,000 receiving yards seven times in his career. He's got a total of 12,896 receiving yards, 60 receiving touchdowns. And that's just regular season. Postseason, he's played a total of eight games over his career. For 61 receptions, 834 yards, once again averaging over 100 per game, and uh, six receiving touchdowns. He's one of only six players in NFL history to record a single game with over 300 receiving yards. He is the fastest in NFL history to 7,000 yards, fastest to 9,000, fastest to 10,000, as we heard, fastest to 11,000, and fastest to 12,000 with 125 games. Look, and I tell you what, we'd be here all day if we tried to go through all of his records. Whether they be Falcons franchise records or, better yet, NFL records. He's got a list of awards and honours as long as me arm. And uh, look, at the end of the day, we do only have one more thing to do. I'm going to try and find this exact interview. I believe that's a microphone. I believe he's at a press conference of sorts talking about his transition from the Falcons to the Titans. So if we can find that, I'll be a happy man. Okay, I don't mind this. Here he is. Boom. You know 
saying? But now, we're not going to watch the whole thing, but we, we're going to have to turn her up. Uh, most definitely. Um, it's it's definitely a you know obviously it's a team sport and um, what you can pass down um, to help guys to coach guys to help them understand the game, not take the game the way I play the game, but um, take little things from me. You know what I'm saying? And um, everybody has to be coachable, but you have to make it your own and go out there and be the best version of yourself. Now keep in mind that uh, this man right here, just a sec. Uh, it's very, very, very uh, valuable. Um, uh, me, Ryan, and uh, AJ just going out there, just uh, creating that chemistry. I'll tell you what. All right, that is. I'm not going to say it's the first time we've heard him speak, but it's certainly the first time I remember hearing him speak. And he's just, you know, your average, everyday guy. I'm not going to say he's got a voice like Jonathan Taylor, but he's got a nice voice. And let's be honest, we can't forget that he is six foot three. 100 kilograms and runs a 40 yard dash in 4.39 seconds. He scored 12,000 receiving yards in the league. He's a veteran. He's at the Titans. Hopefully they play him. Hopefully they, they feed him the ball, which I'm sure they will. And, and hopefully he gets his eighth 1,000 receiving yard season in his career. Eight of 12, not bad at all. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more. Head down into the description box below and check out today's video sponsor. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.